Audi R8 RWS a compelling bargain at $139,950. The Audi R8 RWS, rear wheel series, bundles two large surprises in its compact aluminum frame. The first surprise is that it exists at all, this being the first rear-wheel drive production Audi since the 1938 Audi 920, long before Audi was the car maker we now know. The second surprise is the price, the R8 RWS needing just $139,950 to take home, a figure that includes destination. Stripping Quattro complexity, and weight means stripping $26,200 from the price of the standard R8, while retaining every jewel of the series car's 540 horsepower. This also means you can get a mid-engine V10 for $4,700 less than the cost of a Porsche 911 GT3. And in that case, who needs a twin-turbo V6 R8? Prospective buyers won't want to spend too long debating the deal, Audi's only making 999 of the R8 RWS, just 320 of them headed to America. Other countries get the choice of coupe and convertible, US versions will be coupe only. Spotters will be able to identify coupes by the gloss black upper side blade and body colored lower side blade, matte black grills, gloss black wheels, and optional red vinyl stripe. A more pointed driving experience comes courtesy of 10% stiff dampers and front roll bar, and recalibrated power steering on a fixed ratio rack, the normally optional dynamic rack isn't an option here. Reports quoted Audi as saying the R8 RWS eliminates 110 pounds from the standard R8, for a claimed weight of 3,505 pounds. We don't know where that curb weight comes from, though, Audi's US site claims the regular US R8 rings in at 3,737 pounds, over at Audi Germany the R8 weighs 3,773 pounds. So either engineers were being modest, or pounds should be kilograms, or some vital details sank while crossing the Atlantic. Not that we should lose the plot over a dollop of adiposity, what could be most important here is Audi's attempt to try on a new philosophy. Former Audi Sport CEO Stefan Winkelmann changed the division's name from the AWD specific Quattro GmbH, saying, Quattro can be a company, but it can also be an option. Winkelmann left to oversee Bugatti, but an Audi spokesperson told The Drive that the R8 RWS tests the consumer market for more such products. Shown enough enthusiasm, Audi Sport could do the same kind of drivetrain simplifying work on one or more RS models.